welcome back. So we have a solution right here that when we kind of refresh the page, we'll get all the chats because we reconnect. But if I go to the home page and I just go back, we won't reconnect because we're already connected. So this lesson, I want to talk about disconnecting and reconnecting. Now, that might not be the best solution for our chat app because maybe I want to keep listening for the back end to send me information and maybe just pop up with a small note here that somebody just wrote to the chat. But if you don't want that, if you want to be able to actually disconnect completely, I'm going to show you how this lesson. So let's try and go to our code right here in order for us to disconnect. I need a way to disconnect from the backend and luckily it's very easy with Socket.io. So let's try and go to the service and create two new methods right here. One called disconnect and it's actually going to just be a void. And then I just want to make down here what I'm going to do in order to disconnect is extremely simple. All I'm going to do is I'm going to say, dear Socket, I would like you to disconnect. There we go. But now, of course, I also need a way to be able to reconnect. So let's try and go further down and create another more method right here called connect. It's also going to be a void right here. We don't want to return anything. And that's going to do the opposite thing, right? It's going to do a connect. There we go. Now we have ways to kind of both disconnect and reconnect if we want to do that. That's just some lint complaining. Let's get rid of that. Now we have these two methods, so let's start using them. If we go back to our component, when do we actually want to connect? Well, when I've started listening, let's just actually say to the service, I would like to connect. So now whenever this component is created, and whenever I get to this ng on init, which is the lifecycle hook for actually initializing this component, let's say the connect. And when we kind of disconnect right here, that means that now we're going to destroy this component and that means we want to disconnect. So now we're actually up and running. So let's try and go back to our system right here. If I go back now, I'm actually disconnected. When I come back, it's reconnecting and sending me the list. That's one solution, right? So disconnecting, reconnecting. Let's actually also look at the back end to see if that's true. Clear the console right here and let's actually try and go to home. It should be disconnected. There we go. And actually go back it's connected again. So this is if you kind of want to disconnect, reconnect in your setup. This is how simple it is to kind of disconnect that client and reconnect him using your Socket.io setup in the front end. That's it for this lesson. See you next time. Bye.